game night. I am so excited. Yay! I hope you are. I hope you are. Everybody's excited. excited. Woohoo! Are you doing drawings? Not for a while. Is that, was that your heart breaking? Oh, poor thing. Gosh, you know what you need? Did you say lipstick? Yeah. You need to put Stampin' Lips on. I'm trying to, I think this is tonight's color. So, look at they're all saying hi to you. Hello. If I could read, that would help. I'm exhausted. I'm schlumped. Wow. Was <sighs> practice that bad today? It was miserable, yeah. <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Well, we basically did a sprint workout and another okay. heart break. That wasn't fun. All right. Say goodnight. Carl is my good luck charm. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are ready for a great night of stamping tonight. We will be playing Bing. Go. We will be doing a drawing for our um, mystery stamping, which had a few hiccups last night, but we got through it. Um, I had, um, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happened yesterday. I got cocky. That's what happened. I got all my stuff done early thinking I was all awesome. And then I had a whole bunch of issues pop up that I just messed up a whole bunch of different things yesterday. So by the end of the night, I was really ready to be done. And, um, and game night was one where there was a weird change to Facebook settings and the app that I used to schedule posts wouldn't post until I changed this Facebook setting because my account is connected and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, that's why the posts weren't going up as they were supposed to. So that was really frustrating because, of course, I was just innocently eating dinner with my family, not realizing any of this was going on. So I apologize for that. But I think we had a great turnout for mystery stamping. Oh, my gosh. Have you guys looked at the projects? Because they are so awesome. I was really uh, impressed with the projects you guys came up with. And I will show you uh, the sample that our mystery stamping was based on this evening so um you can just wait for that now we have this is our um the the anniversary of mystery stamping we've been doing this for a year can you guys even believe that i started this as something fun to do during lockdown and um, it has continued for a long time. Now, in order to play uh, bingo with us this evening, you do need to be registered. So if you're not registered, um, we would love to have you join us again next time. It's going to be so much fun. Um, and it is, if you've never played, we have a whole bunch of new players this this month. If you've never played, don't worry. I'm going to explain how everything works. Um, you do need your bingo numbers, which was uh, given to you in your um, confirmation email. You registered. You picked your bingo numbers. If you don't have them, um, I will... Before we play our first game, I will name them off for you. I also have two people whose bingo numbers cannot be used tonight. They need to alter them slightly, and they can comment here to let me know. Um, the first one is Stephanie Bobenmeyer. Bobenmeyer? Bobenmoyer? Um, you have two numbers over 30, and as does Raquel Long. So if you guys are on here, um, just let me know what you would like for your numbers. They just need to be under 30. So, um, oops, oh no, I just accidentally clicked something bad on my iPad. Oh no, just you guys, just, oh no, it's not stopping. That's bad. Okay, so anyway, um, but uh, don't worry, we can all take care of that. So we're going to make eight cards tonight. Normally we make five, so we're going to have to double up a little bit. Um, so just be prepared for that. 
my iPad is restarting, of course. Um, but if you have any questions, don't worry. You can, we can get those answered for you. Um, and everything will be fine. So uh, I have great prizes, if I can just say. Um, the first prize, oh, Stephanie. Stephanie, 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 I just saw you comment 16 and 28. Okay, thank you, my dear. Um, we will cross off those two big numbers and put down 16 and 28. Thank you. Um, and the other one was Raquel Long. So, okay. Do, do, do. Um, and yes, the game name of tonight's game is to have fun and be patient. Um, can you watch? Of course you can. Uh, that's no problem. Um, and we are going to play bingo in between games, but it's all about the projects. I'm so excited um, about the projects I have planned for you tonight. They're really awesome. And your make and take packet is also extra awesome. I threw a little extra in there this month for you guys as a thank you. Uh, bingo has been a really great thing um, for my business. It's been a great thing for you guys to have fun. It's been a lot of fun to put this on for you. So I hope that you've enjoyed it and we will continue to play bingo. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can pull next month's bingo off. And I'll let you know um, the reason I think I think we'll be fine. Um, but the reason I say that is because I'm going to Maui and I have no um, I have nothing to I'm not even what's the word I'm trying to say. I can't even say it. Um, I'm not even sad, like no regrets. <laughs> uh, I think the reason is um because it's my Stampin' Up! trip. It's the last two years of Stampin' Up! trips that I've earned, and I cannot wait to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I, Dina needs a vacation, like the kind not at your in-laws, no offense to my in-laws, um, and the kind without your kids. I can't wait. Yes, no regrets. Oh my gosh, I, I'm very excited about that. So anyway, that's going to be in uh, the middle of May. It's over my birthday, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, also, um, a bunch of you have asked for your numbers, and I will tell them tell you them once we play our first, big, first game of bingo. I've got them all printed off here. Do you see my subtle highlight? That was for the two people whose numbers weren't quite right, so I wanted to make sure we caught that. Um, also my rule is if you have a number over, um, if you have too many numbers, like you listed six, I'm just going to cross off the last one just so we're all clear about that. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think, was there anything else I needed to tell you? Now, if you are not registered for bingo, you can enjoy our game night tonight um, and enjoy the make and take projects. It will be really, um, there'll be some really great projects to share with you. And then if you are registered for bingo, here are what the prizes are tonight because they're pretty awesome. And I have it, I actually typed it up. I mean, it's pretty basic, but I actually typed it up. That's pretty good for me. I usually am kind of a Sharpie on a Post-it kind of girl. But anyway, um, the first, the grand prize winner, so uh, pro most likely our first winner of bingo, gets a $250 shopping spree. Then I have three $100 shopping sprees. And then I have one other prize, which is, oh, <laughs> right here under my iPad. Um, it is, are you guys even, like, can you even stand this? The new in color ink pads and the refills. Um, so it's an extra special this month. Now they're not, I'm not going to give away prizes quite like that every time, but 
I think they're pretty awesome. So, uh, all right. Um, any, let's see, any more questions? I think we're good otherwise. So um, I will just explain how bingo works really quick before we get started. We're gonna make a card first, but um, what how it works is I will draw numbers out of my little bowl and I have numbers one through uh, 30. And as, and I have new pictures this month. Well, almost all of them are new pictures. And as if your number is called that you registered with, then you will comment B. And if say two of your numbers that I call are, are yours, then you'll comment B, I, and so forth. And then the first person that I see with bingo is going to be the winner. Um, I've got my iPad, although it's updating right now, and I could scream because it should not be doing that right now, but hopefully it'll be done by the time we go. Um, but it's, it's remember, I am the bingo master of <laughs> who comes first. So um, be patient with me because we'll double check and scroll. And then what I will do is verify your numbers. And if your numbers are correct, then you get to choose the first prize that you would like. Um, so <laughs> uh, that's how bingo works. It's really easy. Um, and then your packets with your um, all your materials will go out on Thursday. Now that's one day later than normal. And that's because my assistant couldn't be here tomorrow night um, to to help me do this. And um, I'm not going to lie, I'm incapable of doing it myself. <laughs> so I need her help. Um, it's kind of a big job to to get all of those packets mailed out. Um, so she's going to be here Thursday. So they'll go out just one day later than normal. Um, and then I will email, if you're registered, you'll get an email with the link for the project tutorials, which um, you can reference when your packet comes in. So, all right, guys, I would love to get started here. Oh, this iPad is making me crazy, though. I cannot, I accidentally hit update my iPad and it's actually updating right now, which there's no getting out of that. <laughs> so that's not good. I like watching on my iPad because then I kind of have an extra eye on things. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around. And like I said, if you're missing bingo numbers, we'll go through them here in just uh, a few moments, Once right before we play our first game of bingo. Um, and then it'll all be good. I also am just going to do a little of this. Oh, nectar of the gods. <sighs> okay. So, um, you know, it just turned off. So I think it's, I think it's coming back. It'll, it won't be too long. Okay. So I'm going to flip my camera. Oh, by the way, the other thing I wanted to mention is if you, um, our prize winner tonight, um, except for the ink pads, you do need to um, let me know what you would like by Sunday so I can order this for you. Um, the sooner the better if you want anything that's getting retired because that's while supplies last. So just so you are aware. Um, yeah, a margarita would be better. I agree. <laughs> Okay, now if you have not registered or if you have no idea about all of this, I believe in the description of this video there is information for um, all of the, um, or to sign up. There's a link to sign up for my mailing list so that you can be notified when, um, uh, when the registration goes live. Registration sold out in a about 24 hours, just under 24 hours. So, um, yeah, I tell you guys, it, it goes fast every time. And you just, I had so many people come wanting to get registered this time and I limit the registrations so that it's, um, all good. Um, okay. So I'm going to flip this <laughs> and if you win, can you wait for the new catalog? Nope. 
Um, next month you can win from the new catalog, but this month is this one. Um, also, somebody asked if it has to be catalog merchandise. Um, I think if you mean, could you get classes? Yes, you can get classes with it. That's fine. Um, and then what are the prizes? They're listed right here. I also named them off a few minutes ago. So if you are not... Um, if you were not on live, I can't repeat everything tonight, guys, just so you know, because we've got eight projects to make. So let me pull out your make and take packet. It's pretty awesome. Um, we've got some of the gold hoops, which I love these so much. Um, this was something we gave in our retreat uh, boxes, but... Uh, I did them again because I just think they're fun. Also, I've got some of the Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequins. A half a package of the matte black dots, which, oh my gosh, I could have been going through a lot of those. I love them. Um, and then you've got all of your pre-cut cardstock, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then we've got two quarter packs of... Um, DSP, we're doing the, uh, I don't even know what this is called. You know, it's something about ice cream. And then the True Love Designer Series paper. So uh, these are really fun. If you're asking for your numbers, I will go through them before we play our first game of bingo, okay? Uh, all right. So our first card, well, first off, in your packet, there is a sheet of black, a sheet of white, and a bunch of sheets of color. These pieces are all... Um, for die cutting, so just and and punching, so these are all scraps, okay. And your black might be a different size piece than this, just so you know. Uh, all right, so our first card. Now we're using three different uh, sets tonight. The first, well, let's see. I don't. These aren't necessarily in order, but one of them is the "You Are Amazing" stamp set. Another is the sweet ice cream bundle. And, sorry, I just got to move a couple things here. The last is, because I got all my stamps mounted, the In Bloom Bundle, one of my very favorites. And that's what we're going to start off with tonight is the In Bloom Bundle. Now, um, I'm going to give you a little heads up. I don't usually like doing this because I like it to be a surprise, but I'm going to show you one of our cards for tonight. Um, this is actually a card I received in a swap um, a while back, but this is one of our cards for tonight. And um, you want to make sure that uh, what you have in your scrap paper, <laughs> you have enough you have more colors than you need for the ice cream, but you just want to make sure that you leave enough to, to punch one, two, three, four, five scoops. Okay, so just so you know that. All right, but that's not our first card, but I mention it because you're going to be die cutting from these colors. So what we're going to do on our first card is start um, with... Uh, a piece of white. We've got a black card base. Okay. And you should have two pieces of white. I think I think mine is just missing the second piece. Or maybe this is the second piece, but I don't think so. Yeah, this is too big. Um, but anyway, you're going to have one for the outside and one for the inside. All right. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to cut some strips of paper from our DSP. So this is the True Love DSP. So pretty. Um, I could use this all day, every day for the rest of my life. I probably would still be happy. <laughs> uh, you guys know that I'm a big fan of black and white with a pop of color. So I do really love this. I'm going to take these two designs and then I'm going to flip and take one of the florals. It really doesn't matter which. So maybe I'll just use that uh, for the other side. And pardon me, I'm going to use, I'm going to cheat and use my trimmer here. Um, I'm going to cut a strip and notice how carefully I'm measuring. That one is probably about three quarters of an inch, okay? Then I'm going to cut one that's maybe a half an inch, maybe not quite. And then I'm going to 
cut one that is about a half of an inch. So three strips. <laughs> All right. You can see that my measurements are very accurate. It's very important to measure accurately. Ah, I don't like to measure anything. But what I have here are three strips. I've kind of got two of the more solid patterns and then one of the flowery patterns. So that's not quite as solid if you get what I'm saying. And I'm just gonna run these across in a little strip. Okay, and let me grab my adhesive. Okay, and if you guys could throw me a like, like click on the thumbs up, the like button on here, that would really rock my world. I really appreciate that. And I'm just gonna take and put this on at an angle, no right or wrong <laughs> angle. Just want to get this on and then I'm going to leave just a little bit of a space in between and there we go okay and then another strip right there like so oh fabulous thank you guys um now if you're watching and would are just dying to get some of the supplies that I'm using tonight. I would be so grateful if you shopped my online store. Um, one of the things is I've kept this video public so anybody can watch it even if you're not registered for game night. And one of the things you can do to support me is to register for classes or um, shop my online store. That really helps. And um, there is my shameless promotion. Okay, so there we go. Um, this is uh, a really a simple little design. Now what we can do with this is add to it. So uh, I have gone ahead of time tonight and die cut some flowers from that in bloom bundle. I die cut three of the larger flowers like this. And then I also have die cut some of the flower centers. So I've got, there's a whole bunch of pieces in this set of dies, which um, I'm very excited it's carrying over into the annual catalog. I'd be almost as excited if my catalog or my stamp set carried over, but it didn't. Anyway, um, so uh, these large three flowers I'm going to use on here, and I'm just gonna kind of arrange them um on here like so and then I like to arrange first and then adhere second okay next uh what I'm going to do is put these centers in on these flowers and um you'll kind of figure out where you like them just by arranging so I've cut some what some centers in black from the black scrap and then I've used the other colors here Okay, and then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I've die cut some leaves. The other thing I love, sorry, I'm grabbing my <laughs> pre-die cut leaves. The other thing I love is there's t a whole bunch of leaves in here. There's branches and leaves and all kinds of stuff. So um, can we still order bundles? Yes, you sure can. And um, this one is in the January to June catalog. So um, yeah, you can totally get the bundle for this. All right, I'm gonna pop up this largest flower right here. Um, this is Magenta Madness. And then I will use a glue dot um, in the center like that to adhere that and then um, I'm going to put this one I'm going to tuck it in just a little like so one thing I was a little cautious of at first I had basically flowers going the whole length of this and then I was like wait a minute I can't see that DSP so I backed off and kept my flowers just a little more simplified and I think I'm going to pop this one up too. And I really do like the results of what I created here. 
Um, so I've got Magenta Madness, Poppy Parade, and uh, Mango Melody. And I'm just overlapping them a little bit here. And then, of course, the centers are black. What I recommend doing it, uh, with this bundle, and if you don't have this, I really recommend it. Um, I think a lot of people weren't quite sure about it because it didn't have... Um, dies that cut out the stamped images and we're going to do stamps uh, stamped images with this set too but um, I think that was a little confusing to people I'd had a few comments people weren't quite sure what the deal was with that um, they we've had many sets in the past where the dies don't necessarily match the stamped images and I think that actually makes the set even more versatile so I really like that aspect of it okay so I'm just going to tuck um, all of my leaves in here. Let's see. There we go. And you can curl them a little too if you want. And this one down there. Okay, so there we go. That looks pretty cute, right? Next, we're going to take and stamp a sentiment on here. Now, one of the things that I truly adore about this stamp set are the sentiments. Oh my gosh, they're really awesome. So uh, I'm going to stamp this in some black ink. And because I really want this to be like extra amazing, I'm going to use stays on ink. Um, and I think that this is uh, really, I, I like using stays on when I'm using my black and white because it's such crisp, opaque black ink. So I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. You really are the best. And oh, I hope this is straight. Eh, not bad. Good job, Dina. Okay, so there we go. Um, and then to clean this, um, I find that using a stamp and scrub is better than using a chamois. A chamois is not really going to get any of the stays on off, but a stamp and scrub, it will with just stamp and mist, um, or we have stays on cleaner. So whichever you like, that's how I clean my photopolymer stamps when I use stays on. Okay. So I'm going to take and put this on my card like so. Now, by the way, this was kind of the really putsy card for tonight. So stinking cute, though, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. I just love it. So adorable. Um, okay, but we're not done. That's right. There's more. So we also have in our kit a half a package of our little matte black dots. So we're going to take and put a couple of those down as well. Um, I do... I do love me some matte black dots. So I'm going to put a nice big one in the center of this and a little one right there and probably a big one in the center of this one. So it just adds a nice little extra something to this. Okay, the last thing that I want to do is... I do want to do just a teeny bit of stamping um, to put on the inside of my card. So for that, uh, I'm going to grab a couple of the stamped images and just stamp them. Oh my gosh, I just dropped a, all my chamois. I've got like five of them. There we go. Um, and I, I'm keeping my chamois close so I can clean my stamps. But for this one, um, I'm going to just kind of follow suit with the images that I um, die cut and I'll put one right there like that. Clean that off so it's good to go. Then uh, I'll do this one. And by the way, I cannot figure out how that is what is on my stamp. I don't know what it's something. It picked up something from somewhere, but I have no idea where. That is like a stamping mystery to me. <laughs> um, okay, so then I've got that stamp right there. Cute, cute, cute. And finally, um, 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 I'm going to do this stamp in Poppy Parade. Like so. Woo! 
that jumped off my stamp. Oh, I didn't get any on my shirt. That's good. Okay. And then last but not least, we're going to add a couple of leaves in here. Okay, so do 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 like that, except you can stamp the whole thing. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so oh wait, that is not actually last but not least. It's close, but not quite. Because we also want to add a couple little centers. Oh, I love adding the centers. So there's a whole there's a whole bunch of centers that you can add to this. So I'm just gonna do um, a few. So I'll pick this up and put them in the center like so. And how much fun is this? Look at how cute these centers are. I love them. Okay, so there we go. That is going to go on the inside of our card. Like so. And oh, I do hope I picked the right piece. I think I did. Yes. Phew. Okay, so there is our first glorious card. Huh. Okay, we're going to make one more. I know I'm teasing you so bad. Um, we have eight cards and we're only playing four games of bingo. So we got to gotta figure it all out, right? All right, our next card is another card I really like. And I kind of borrowed a little bit of my own <laughs> idea. And I'll show you what I mean after I make it. Um, but it's a really cute card. Also features the stamp set. We're making three cards with this set. So on this one, um, I've got a piece of coastal cabana. Also, I don't always match my shirts with my clothes or with my cards, but tonight I did just special for you. I am wearing my coastal cabana t-shirt. So I hope you appreciate the coordination levels I've gone to to make tonight happen. <laughs> All right. So I've got coastal cabana and uh, what I'm going to do with this is I need to protect my work surface. I should have done that earlier, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is take one of my images and just stamp a little background with it. Um, so I'm gonna take this kind of small one and we'll just stamp this sort of going down the edge. So I've got this like this. Just adding a little design. like this. So gosh, I keep dropping my ink pads or my stamps. Okay. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is do, uh, so I'm going to set this aside for a moment and I'm going to come back in with this piece. I've got a white and a black layer. So on my white panel, uh, what I'm going to do is take this, um, really nice little, um, stem and we're going to stamp that. I actually normally wouldn't do this, but I like to stamp the stem first. And the reason is because it, I, I think it's a little bit easier to align things the way you want them aligned. Um, when you stamp this first, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So, um, there's my, um, first stem and I'm going to stamp the flower to go with it next. Uh, we're going to use this one and some Daffodil Delight ink. Now, the beauty of this card is you can do a lot of different colors. Um, you could do purples. You could do pinks um, to go with this. So you can kind of change it up a little bit if you'd like. So there's that. Then I'm going to do my next flower. And I'm going to flip the stem so it curls the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to have it go off like that. So it'll be shorter and then headed in the other direction. And then for this, uh, I'm going to take that same stamp I used a minute ago and stamp that down right there. Okay, so there we go. Next, what I'm going to do is add a couple leaves to this. So I'm going to put one nice big leaf like that, and I'm going to take the same leaf flip it upside down, and then put a smaller leaf right there. And isn't this just happy, springy, wonderful? Oh, I love it. So 
Next, what I wanna do is just like before, I wanna add centers to my flowers because I really love them, but I'm gonna layer them up a little bit. So I'm gonna take kind of a shade darker of my two colors. So I'm gonna take Mango Melody for my daffodil flower and Bermuda Bay for my um, Coastal Cabana flower. And we're gonna add the little centers. So um, I'm gonna pick this center and this center. And then I'm also going to use this one in black. So we're still gonna add that black center because oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so ink this up and stamp that right in the middle. Now what's really nice about this is notice I stamped the greenery before I stamped the centers. The reason is um, so that the the darker the the more solid image has a chance to dry before I stamp um, the the contrasting color and then that way those colors won't kind of blend in and feather too much they'll stay nice and crisp so that you can see them okay so super cute um, okay next um. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through to make sure. I'm giggling because Linda has two sets of the dies. I know. Um, I, I just a die cut. In fact, I'll show you in a little bit. I just die cut a whole bunch of pieces. And then I'm kind of just using them together. Okay. So... It helps to make a whole bunch. Now I'm going to use my favorite sentiment in this <laughs> for this card, which is "Congrats, you're so fancy." Now I love that sentiment. Uh, I'm going to stamp that once again in my black stays on. I just think it looks so nice to have that crisp black ink. Okay, but you kind of have to be prepared. Like you can't dilly dally around. Because what if you do dilly dally, what can happen is the black either will stick to the cardstock and you can actually rip it if you hold your image on there too long. So make sure your stays on pad is inked well. Don't let it dry too much. And the other thing is, if I'm not using this, you guys know I will leave ink pads open on my desk all the time. Not this one. This one always gets a lid back on it right away. Like right away. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We have this beautiful stamped panel. It's just so happy. And what I'm going to do next is adhere it to that layer of black. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this up onto my card. You probably figured that's what I was going to do. I know, no dilly-dallying. You cannot dilly-dally when this stays on is involved. It's really important. It's a good tip. <laughs> okay, oh, and look at this, you guys. Finishing off a sheet of dimensionals like a champ. I'm so excited. It's the little things in life, you know. All right, we'll flip that over and stick that on our card. Now, this card is gorgeous, right? But wait, there's more. <laughs> We have these beautiful artistic art artistry blooms, adhesive backed sequins. Oh my gosh, they're one of my faves. Love these things so much. I have gone through a ton of these. Uh, these are also carrying over into the new catalog, which makes me pretty happy. Okay, so uh, there's four sheets of them in your little kit. So I'm going to take kind of the lightest and uh, of the two, of the colors. I've got some yellowish and some aqua-ish. So we'll just um, add a couple of these sequins on here, just to add a little shimmer to life. <laughs> Everything's better with a little shimmer, right? So I'm just putting a few on there. Maybe one more up here. Um, and another one down here, like so, and one more, final answer, boom, okay. Um, so it just adds a little shimmer to our card. Oh, so cute. Just love it. All right, 
So that was our next card. Now, I promised I would show you where this idea came from. So I made this card um, in a video, oh, uh, I don't know, a month, a month or so ago. And this was actually the inside of the card. So I loved the inside so much that I wanted to make it the kind of the focal point of a, of a card. So that's where that came from. So I cased my own idea. I love doing that. <laughs> okay, so we have now made two amazing cards. Let's play our first game of bingo. All right, let me just pick up a couple things. Now, if you are missing your numbers, hold tight for one second while I pick up, and then I will name them off this just now. Um, and if you don't need your numbers, just hold tight for a second while we go through the list, and I shall help you through. Okay, so who needs their numbers? Um, do you need to be in live chat? Yep, I would recommend it. Ooh, that makes me also remind me. I'm going to pull my iPad up here. Oh, look, it's ready to go. Let's see. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay. I love when it tells me that I'm live on my channel. Ooh, connect to the internet. Oh, goodness. Hold on one second. Okay. Unable to join. Okay, sorry, hold on. Huh. There we go. Oh my goodness. I was wondering. Okay, oh, there I am. Yikes, it's always a little crazy to see yourself. Oops, yeah, we'll turn this down. Okay. All right, so numbers that people need let me know um okay karen karen harkes your numbers are four seven eleven twenty one and twenty four um who else karen garcia Kathy Garcia, pardon me, um, 7, 11, 19, 21, and 27. Okay, Jennifer. Four, six, nine, fourteen, and 15. Um, who else? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Kathy. I do ha actually have a customer named Karen Garcia. Um, who else needs numbers? I thought there were a couple more people. Um, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to get started. Oh, Julie. That's right. You did say that. Julie, you're easy. You are four, six, two, twenty, or pardon me, four, six, twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-six. Um but Rebecca Willer says she lost sound. Um, I think I don't know if she needs her numbers, but let's do that quick. Um by the way, you guys, when you register, keep the email confirmation. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, 3, 7, 21, 28, and 15. Um, Cindy McLeod. L -M. 
Cindy. Here we go. 5, 16, 18, 21, and 27. Tina. Oh my goodness, you guys. Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina. Uh, G-A-S-C-O-N. 2, 6, 19, 23, and 30. Okay. Um, and Meg, Margie. Oh my gosh. You guys, come on now. You need to bring your numbers. Okay. Margie. 3, 8, 12, 21, and 25. Okay, Becky Willer. Three, seven, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Okay. Yes, they are in the email. Okay. Um, anybody else? Uh, the buffering is not on my end. I'm good here. So, um, yeah. If uh, one thing you can do is go out and come back in, that helps. Okay. All right, guys. I uh, I think I've got everybody. So here we go. Um, remember, if I draw your name, your number, just comment B and B I B I N, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you've got bingo, say it loud, say it proud. Let's play bamboozled. <laughs> That's my reference to friends. If you guys don't know, I love friends. So, okay. All right. Um, our first number is 28. Our second number is four. Our third number is 30. We go fast at the beginning, the first several numbers. Then we'll slow down. Don't worry. Six. I'm going to play my Wicked Wango card. <gasps> You're going to play a Wicked Wango card? Are you going to get the jumping bonus? The hopping bonus? My husband is literally hopping right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, our next number is, are you ready? 20. Did he switch legs? He did not. He hopped on both legs. So no leg switching bonus for him. <laughs> All right, I see lots of B's and B-I's. Are you guys ready? For the next number. Ooh, Leanne's got a B-I-N. So exciting. All right, guys. Here comes our next number, 25. I have new pictures this time. Well, almost new pictures. I see B-I-N. Ooh, Leanne got his B-I-N-G. Remember, if you get a bingo and somebody's already called it, still type it because I have consolation prizes. All right, guys, our next number is 16. Okay, are you ready for another number? You need Carl to call my numbers? Oh, no. He is... No. <laughs> I've learned... I learned a long time ago, only having one bingo caller is a good thing. <laughs> All right. Eight is our next number. Um, I know they are all even numbers. That's funny. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? 17. There's an odd number for you. Hey, 
Ooh, Ruth has B-I-N-G. Heather has B-I-N. Ruth has B-I-N-G. Oh my gosh, here comes our next number. And it's lucky 13. That's my best um, bamboozled game show host voice. Kathy's got B-I-N-G. Ooh, so exciting. Carmen finally has a B. Good for you, Carmen. Stick with it. <laughs> All right. I can't believe we don't have a winner yet. I got to say, I'm a little surprised. Okay, here we go. Here comes our next number. 27. There's another odd number. Look, three odd numbers in a row. There you go. I don't know what else you guys want from me. <laughs> All right, here we come. Lots of B-I's and B-I-N's. Okay. Here comes 15. Do I deliver or do I deliver? Donna's got B-I-N-G. Oh, my goodness. Karen says, if I could just look at her numbers and call one of those, that would be great. <laughs> Wouldn't it, though? You guys crack me up. All right, guys, here we go. Number three. Another odd number. Ooh, Penny's got B-I-N-G. Deborah has B-I-N-G. It's getting exciting. Anna's got B-I-N-G. Barbara has B-I-N-G. Oh, my goodness. This next number is critical. Are you ready? Here we go. Number 18. Ooh, I think I see a winner. I think I see a winner, a winner. Oh, we have a winner. Yay. Okay. It looks like Deborah, Miss Deborah Norris, you are our big winner. Let's check your numbers. Anybody else? Let us know. And here we go. Oops, what did I do with them? All right. So our Deborah, 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 L M N, Deborah Norris. She had three, eight, seventeen, twenty-four. Oh, Miss Deborah, I don't think we have twenty-four on here. Am I missing it? 24, 24, 24, 24. I don't think Miss Deborah has bingo, so we're still playing, my God, my friends. Yeah, and Deborah. Um, 3, 8, 17, 24, 27. She said no. Okay, got it. So we're going to, we're keep, we're still playing, everybody. Oh, it was an accident. She was a premature bingo, bingoer. I understand. It happens. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yay for yay for us. <laughs> um that is correct. Here we go. We're still playing and our next number is 9. Do you know what that reminds me of? The movie um Ferris Bueller's Day Off 9 times. <laughs> okay, I see. Ooh, I think we've got another bingo winner. Let's see. Barbara Doman, I see your name. Anybody else? Let me double check. Ooh, nope. I see Sheila Hartman first. Hold on. All right. I saw Sheila first. I took a look a little closer. So, uh, Sheila, you are the first one on my screen. 
I'm just coming back and making sure. Yep, I see Sheila, and then a little bit after that is Barbara. So let's double check Sheila. All right, Miss Hartman, you have four, nine, 13, 15, and 25. It looks good. And then Barbara, I also had on here, I'm just checking, just checking, 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 checking. All right, Miss Barbara, you'll be our consolation prize winner. Okay, she had three, six, nine, 15 and 17, 15, 17. Okay, so she's good too. So um, Barbara, I was gonna say, one of my consolation prizes for tonight is my uh, stamp set autographed, but I don't know if you already have that, Barbara, so just let me know. Um, but Sheila, you are our winner. What would you like? Would you like the twenty two hundred and fifty dollars shopping spree, a hundred dollars shopping spree, or the in colors? Let me know. And then Barbara, if you would like to, um, if you would like to have my autograph stamp set, let me know. But if you don't, um, I'll give you something else. You already have it. Okay, I kind of thought you did. Uh, you would like the $250 shopping spree? Okay, Sheila, it is yours. Congratulations. And then the consolation is Barbara. All right. And Barbara, did you, or did anybody else have bingos? I don't want to miss anybody. I didn't, I don't think I saw anybody. Um, okay. Well, congratulations. So exciting. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, you know what this means? It's time to do a little more stamping. All right. I got to put my bingo numbers back in my bowl and we're going to make another fabulous card. So this next card, ladies, is an, again going to be featured with the, um, in bloom bundle. All right. Um, and on this one, uh, I'm going to start with a white, thick card base. Give that a good crease. And then I've got a piece of, uh, another piece of white. I almost said whisper white. It's basic white now. I've got another piece of white that we're going to put on top here. I'm going to set that folded card aside for just a second. All right. Now on here, um, what I'm going to do is take one of my gold hoops. I have an open package, so I'm just going to grab one from there. Okay. And I've seen, um, actually my good, my good friends, Barb and Kelly, they glue theirs to their card, but here's why I don't actually like that. I haven't told them this yet. Um, the reason I don't like that is I'm afraid like the glue could snap off this, um, this little hoop. So instead, what I like to do is my <laughs> possibly infamous uh, adhesive log. <laughs> so I'm going to take a glue dot and roll it up like a log. And I'm going to put two of these on here. Um, how do I decide when to use thick cardstock? That's a great question, Debbie. Um, and the answer is very simple. I use primarily thick cards, thick white cardstock for card bases and any layers, um, I use regular white cardstock. The thick white is because it's a sturdier card base, so your card is not so flimsy. Um, but then anything, any other layers, I'm going to use um, regular white cardstock, just the regular weight. Okay, so I've got my adhesive logs and I'm going to press this in here. Um, Carla says she glues her hoops too. I don't know. I just, I feel, I feel like this won't 
snap off of a card. I've had things snap off before. That's why I say that with liquid glue. So anyway, uh, I've got that on there. Now, I also am going to take and die cut some pieces. So you've got a scrap of white. Uh, I'm going to die cut a label. Okay, so I've got this label. This is from our In Bloom dies. Uh, I'm going to take the black cardstock and die cut a bow. Oh, how cute is that? All of this again is from the In Bloom. And we're going we're gonna to continue going. Um, and then I have a bunch of flowers. So I'm going to try and keep these a little bit together. Um, these, these leaves, I ripped them apart. <laughs> <laughs> they came uh, like this, and I just ripped the leaves up off. Okay, I'm just grabbing all my flowers. So I die cut a whole bunch of flowers and pieces and everything. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is arrange these. Now the next thing I want to do before I kind of go any further is um, stamp my sentiment on here. So uh, I'm going to stamp you mean so much to me on here in, I'll do that again in my black stays on. Okay. So we'll stamp that pretty much in the center. I kind of hesitated a lot on that. It's okay, it worked. Okay. So we're gonna put that right here. And I'm gonna pop this up on both sides. Ooh, another opportunity to finish off a sheet of dimensionals. You know how I love doing that. Okay. So there we go, we've got that on there. And then I'm gonna add my bow right about there with a glue dot. Okay, like that. So cute. All right, next up, um, I want to um, tuck in some of my flowers. So, uh, did I use this one? Yeah, I did. It was down here. Okay. So, I'm just kind of building this and... Oh, that little Dickens, it's not gonna let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip off my flower. Oh, feels a little wrong to do that, but I gotta get it to fit. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That one fits right there. Is it stuck to anything? No. Oh, now it is. There we go. Um, and then I want to put in here um, a little center flower. So I've got, this is, um, what color do you call that? Melon Mambo. I want a Daffodil Delight one. Ooh, don't I have a Daffodil Delight? <gasps> I thought I did. Oh, here we go. Well, I've got these little ones. I guess I could put this in the center. I'm just going to add this. Um, how do they determine what sets carry over? You know, it's a combination of a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a lot, some of it is sales, um, but not everything. I know my set was determined, I think, probably before um, it even started getting sold because the catalogs kind of are figured out pretty well in advance. Um, so I don't know. Um, I I will say there's some sets that I don't understand how they could carry over and not mine. I'm just saying, but I don't make these rules. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing is just adding in some little pieces and parts. So I just die cut a whole bunch of flowers and then I'm kind of just following them along the curve of my, my hoop. Um, the next one I want to do up here is this one. So we'll put a glue dot there and stick that down. 
Like, I don't want to call out names, but enjoy the moment is in the catalog and mine is not. That's just wrong. I, I just, I'm just going to say that right now. I just have to say. There's no rhyme or reason to it. <sighs> but anyway, obviously they didn't ask me. I would have told them. Linda, <laughs> you're cracking me up. <laughs> She needs some sugar. Get that girl some candy. Okay. So how fun is this? Oh my gosh. Now we just need to tuck in a few more leaves and then everything will be amazing. Okay. So I just am building up my little hoop and I think it's so fun. Um, so, and I, in just a second, I'm going to show you all the pieces that I've die cut because I think it might crack you up a little. But what's really fun is is just to die cut a whole bunch of things, and um, and then kind of fill them in when you need them. And then what I do is I keep them in a little clear bag. Okay, so uh, that looks pretty good. So this is just really pretty and fun with our rainbow colors of cardstock. Okay, there we go. Um, and I was going to pop this whole thing up. Now, if you're going to mail this, you might want to throw a little protection on top. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I can't even get it on here straight. What is wrong with me? There we go. This card deserves to be on straight. Oh, isn't that just so pretty? Okay, now we could go with some black dots to kind of embellish just a little bit. You could also use your sequins. It's kind of up to you. Um, I don't want to do a ton of black dots, but just a couple placed um in a few precise spots gonna be pretty nice oh my gosh look at that isn't this so pretty oh i love this so now i want to show you my pile of die cut flowers so again i just took my scraps that came with your packet and um i die cut a whole bunch of them and then I just started playing with different combinations to, to make up my cards. So here they all are. Here's all of these pieces. And I just die cut a whole bunch. Um, and then what I'm going to do with them is take a clear envelope like this. We, the, we carry clear envelopes in the catalog. And then I'm just going to dump them in here so that I can use them uh, next time. I go to create a card with this bundle. So I've got a bunch ready to go. So whenever I have leftover pieces, um, I, that's what I like to do with them. Okay. So there we go. Oh gosh, I really loved this. So nice. Okay. Um, so uh, let's see how many cards do we have left? Oh, that was three. Oh, we got to make another one. Ooh, oh, this next one is going to be awesome. Okay, and I really did do my fancy best cards first, but it was also because they were a little on the putsier side, and I wanted to make sure I got them done uh, early in the evening. <laughs> okay, so our next card is a really fun card with the ice cream bundle. So let me get rid of my flower stamps. We're done with those. Um, so this card is going to feature the popsicle images. So I've got the two popsicle pieces and a stick. And then you're so cool. Okay. Oh, but before I do that, I wanted to show you a card I received in the mail. Um, this was from uh, Kasha. I think she's on here. And I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Um, but this is 
this is a card she mailed and it, she had just a very sweet note inside, but I loved this. She stamped the background crumb cake on crumb cake and then embossed it. Oh, how cool is that? Um, I really liked that. So it was, uh, it was a really fun surprise to get this card in the mail. So thank you so much, my dear. I think she's on here on our live tonight. Um, so that was really a great card to receive. I appreciate it. Okay. So here we go. Um, what I want to do with this card is a technique that I, um, started a while ago called faux watercoloring. And, um, Ooh, Hey Andy, will you come here a sec? Sorry. I have to get, I have to get my husband to help me with something really quick. <laughs> there's in the bathroom, there's a little rectangular container, white, where you've put about an inch of water in it. That's all I need is an inch. <laughs> He's so going to say something about that. Okay. So, uh, for this card, uh, what I'm going to do. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate it. I can't believe it. He didn't say anything about the inch. This is shocking. <laughs> so unlike him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's definitely not what she said. I know, right? <laughs> I love you guys. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pick a color combination of uh, Magenta Madness, Bermuda Bay. By the way, I did this with Coastal Cabana. Not as good. Granny Apple Green and Mango Melody, except Granny Apple Green goes first. Okay, so here you go. Um, all right, so we're going to start with uh, our first color. And what I want to do, I got to bring my paper back in here. What I want to do is take and ink up my uh, the bottom of my image, and I'm going to lightly stamp it off, not heavily, but lightly. Okay, and then I'm going to just stamp this right like that. Okay, so it's not quite super dark. Okay, same thing here, and I'm just going to line those up. So what I've got is a light look. Now what I'm going to take is my water painter, and... Um, I'm just going to, with with wet, wet water, no, really, with clear water, as in not, I'm not using any ink or anything. I'm just going to blend the color. And this is called faux watercoloring. Uh, it works best when you stamp off the, the first layer of ink, because if it's too dark, the watercolor look doesn't really happen. And by the way, I'm doing this on our Fluid 100 watercolor paper because um, that really helps get this look. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to clean off my uh, watercolor brush, and then I'm going to clean off my stamp. Then we're going to do this with our other colors. Okay, now I really want to make sure I get this. Magenta is one of those colors that just does not give up. She doesn't quit, girls. This magenta sticks around, so I wanted to make sure she's real clean. We'll cl close this up and do our next color as mentioned. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to do Bermuda Bay, lightly stamping off, and uh, our... Our um, popsicles do not need to be like perfectly in order. We're just gonna keep going. Blend this out. Do, do, do. And then I'm gonna show you a little alternative. I th well, I think to this, I'll show you two, my two versions. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, so cute. Clean my stamps quick. Um, yeah, if, if you ever see me watercoloring, um, there's approximately a 100% chance that I'm using watercolor paper. I don't ever not use watercolor paper. 
Um, I know Stampin' Up! likes to say that you can use um, shimmery white, but I disagree with that. Shimmery white is not the same. Okay, so there we go. That's Granny Apple Green. Now, you can see the base, the first one I stamped off, but then the second one, I was like, ooh, that's pretty light. But look at what happens when you add water. It really, I think it brightens up the color. And again, th none of this would be happening if we were using regular white cardstock. It would be ugly. Bad. Bad. Bad and ugly. Ooh, and Dina went outside the lines just a little. It's okay, though. Okay. Clean that off. And also, I see there's just a little spot right there. Now, I want you to see, see what happens. I just added water to this, and that's going to kind of affect the look um, of the image, which actually is going to be fun. So I'm, I'm all about that. Okay, last one. We're going to cl clean. Okay. Um, and then someone said, can you have an image with a bite taken out? Uh, I guess you could. Um, for that, I could just leave this one like this. I kind of ran out of room. I'd say the moral of the story is... Um, Keep them a little closer together than I did. I didn't do a very good job of that. Okay, so on this one, this is going to have the bite taken out of it because I just didn't stamp the top part. So there you go. Yeah. Um, okay, although I, I will say it doesn't look super natural. Maybe we'll fill it in just a little bit because it looks a little odd. Okay, it was kind of a weird bite. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Those are our, our little um, popsicles. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do is dry this <laughs> because, of course, you don't want it wet. And do you see what happened there? It, I like the look. It, it kind of changed the look. Okay, I'm going to flip this over and dry the back side. And that helps it kind of keep from buckling. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit more coloring, water coloring. Uh, I'm going to take and um, stamp the, the stick on here. Now, I don't want the whole stick. I just want most of the stick. <laughs> so I'm just going to ink up part of it, okay? And yeah, somebody said they use the scallop punch for the bite, which is a great idea, but we're coloring directly, uh, we're stamping directly on, you know, the cardstock. So there's, we don't, um, we can't really take a bite out with a punch if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so there are my sticks. <laughs> and we will blend those real quick too with our brush. Okay like so and it just gives it that same watercolory look now one thing you can do with this although i did not do this on mine um is and i don't actually i don't think i have the stamp mounted so but what you can do is take this which you might think this is a stick outline that's what i thought it was you can actually stamp it right here to get the lines for the popsicle, you know what I'm saying? Um, and to give you an example of that, let me show you something I have. Uh, I got this on uh, my trip to see my friend Barb this past summer in Wyoming. And do you see the lines in the popsicle right here? Is this not just the cutest little sign? This is one of those, um, oh, what is this company? Natural Life. So yeah, I just, I love this little sign. It's just a little wood sign, so cute. So yeah. That's the little indentation, you know, so you can break popsicles apart. Uh, I'm not going to stamp them on this card, but that's, you can do that. Okay, now let's close this up before there's a situation. And then we're going to add our sentiment, which is you're so cool, which is just so cute. And we'll stick it on our card. So my card base is Bermuda Bay. And... 
Um, I'm totally digging this. By the way, I did the order wrong, but that doesn't matter. It's no biggie. Um, all right. I'm going to stamp your so cool. Now, because I stamped these in watercolor, or I'm sorry, I colored them watercolor, I'm going to use my, my stays on once again because I want to make sure that you can see this nice and vibrantly on top of that watercolor. So there we go. And this time we're going to embellish with some of our sequins. So I'm going to take and put a couple of these. Again, another good reason why you want to make sure that these are dry because you certainly don't want to stick adhesive backed anything onto wet popsicles. That would not go over well. So I've got the two dark ones on the Magenta Madness. I'm going to take a um, aqua one on my Bermuda Bay. Um, I'm going to do another one on here and then we'll take kind of two orangey ones and put them over here, a big one and a little one. Oh my gosh. Aren't these just so flipping cute? Oh my gosh. All right. Now we'll pop this whole layer up onto our card. And, oh, I just know we are going to use up more dimensional sheets. It's so exciting. I'll put one in the middle there and then one down here. Oh, I got them all. And there we have it. So cute. Oh, my gosh. By the way, I'll show you. Remember I said um, remember I said Bermuda looked better. I tried Coastal Cabana. Here it is. Look at how dull it looks on this one. Also, these are a little bit e more evenly spaced, but that's okay. So there we go. Super duper cute, isn't it? Loving it. All right. So I think it's time to play another game of bingo. So grab your numbers and away we shall go. All right, I didn't have to clean up too much this time, so that's good. All right, so game number two. Um, first number is 15. Next number is 21. Next number is 14. Do you see? I'm going quick. Got to go quick at the beginning. All righty. Our next number is number three. Ooh, Penny's got B-I-N. So exciting. Number 12. Okay, who's ready for another number? Number nine. Nine times. All right, here comes another number. Number six. Ooh, we've got some B-I-N-G's, a whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. It's all happening so fast. Okay, who's ready for the next number? Number 26. I see lots of B-I-N's. I also see a sad cat. <laughs> I think that sad cat doesn't have anything in on yet. All right, are you ready? 
Number seven. Ooh, Leah's got B-I-N-G. Jennifer's got B-I-N-G. Rebecca's got B-I-N-G. Shirley's got B-I-N-G. Oh my gosh. So exciting. All right, guys, here comes the next number. Are you ready? Number 30. I, I am, I'm mixing them up every time with my hands. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The next number, 10. That's the little sharks. Do you want me to be mad? Or do you want to be mad at me? Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark You're welcome Ah <laughs> Shirley do you have bingo Oh my gosh <laughs> Let's check anybody else Oh, no bingo for her, she says. She was a premature bingoer. It happens. You just liked me singing the Baby Shark song. I know it. Okay. No bingo for Shirley. Are you guys ready for the next number? All right. 24. All right. I see lots of B-I-N's. Ooh, B-I-N-G. Oh, Sheila W. Does somebody else have a bingo? Hold on. Shirley said no. I didn't see any others. Let me take a look. You want me to sing some more? That's really weird. Um, I am not a good singer, I don't think. Uh, Shirley does not have bingo. Okay. Here we go. Here comes another number. Oh, where are the tiny hands? Okay, hold on. Sharon's not playing, so she can ask these questions, right? Here, I picked the next number. Let me put it in the tiny hand. And <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Two! is our next number. <laughs> You're welcome. B-I-N-G. Lots of B-I-N-Gs. Oh my gosh. I know. I um, I cleaned up my desk today and I was like, oh, I haven't done my things much. So yeah. Um, Kathy said, did I take your numbers out? I promise I did not. I swear I would never do such a thing. I know people always ask me if I um, have all the bingo numbers. I do check every time to make sure they're all in there. I wouldn't do y'all wrong like that. That would be horrible. Okay, are you ready? 16. <laughs> Tiny hands are the way to go. I know, right? You can do it. Oh, um, here we go. I think I see a bingo. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, it looks like Dolores has a bingo, you guys. Oh my gosh, let's check the numbers. What did I do with my numbers? Here we go. All right, Miss Dolores. Let us take a look. Um, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. She has two... Nine. Um, Dolores. 
Oh, there is a nine. Gosh, I was thinking she was a premature bingoer too. 16, but she's not. It's all good. 21 and 26. She is a winner. Does anybody else have bingo? Um, I think I just saw Dolores. Linda's going to get a sucker. <laughs> I'm giggling. Um, all right. So, Miss Dolores, would you like the $100 shopping spree or the in color ink pads and reinkers? Let me know, my dear. And I didn't see anybody else with a consolation bingo. So, All right, Miss Dolores, let us know what you would like. <laughs> Cynthia's going to get more M&Ms. <laughs> $100, you got it, my dear. Um, I got your name written down right here. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. All right, it's time to make some cards we've made four cards so far we've got four to go um but the the, ba the back four are a little faster than the front four not gonna lie all right so our next card is going to feature our um beautiful uh dsp from the ice cream dsp i don't know what is that called i can't think of the name of it off the top of my head which is kind of killing me um and I also don't know what I did with my DSP. Oh, here it is. I moved my iPad and that's why. Uh, I really cleaned my desk off because I felt like I'd quite neglected it. <laughs> so it's much better than it was. All right. So this DSP is just gorgeous. There's so many fun designs. I'm going to take this ice cream pattern um, here. And then I'm also going to flip this over. And I don't know if you noticed this. So one side of the DSP is like ice creamy stuff. And then the other side, ice cream corner. Thank y'all. Um, the other side is like just designs, you know? So I'm going to take this piece and this piece to make my card. And this card is a card actually I received uh, in a swap from one of my team members, uh, Melinda, who is an amazing stamper. Uh, I've known Melinda for many years, and she I just loved what she did with this card. So I can't wait to show it to you. So I'm going to start. I have a card base that is Pear Pizzazz. Uh, and then I also have a panel uh, of So Saffron. And we're going to cut two pieces of DSP. So the first one is going to be... Sorry, I had to get my trimmer. The first one is going to be four by five and a quarter inches. So that's just kind of our basic card level or layer. All right, and then our second piece is going to be three and a half by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters. And you can choose whatever pattern you would like for this. It doesn't have to be this one. But I do really like this fun one. Okay. So I'm going to start by taking my kind of striped pattern and I'm just going to adhere it directly to my card like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take this piece and adhere it to my saffron layer. And this is just a really simple, fun card. Uh, I'm gonna flip this over and pop it up onto my card panel. Another sheet of dimensionals gone. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. And we'll throw this in the middle, because why not? All right, like that. 
And then you've got, gosh, I can't put stuff on straight lately. It's because I'm looking through my camera to do this. There we go. So that's fun. Now you also had a strip of white in here and we're going to stamp um, our sentiment on here from the ice cream set. And we're gonna use a good old happy birthday. Um, this is just cute, so <laughs> it works. Okay, and I'll stamp that in Blackberry Bliss, which coordinates with that striped pattern. And of course, you can also see it in the ice cream. Okay, so there we go. Then uh, what I'm going to do is punch this with my triple banner punch. You could also use the pick a banner. It doesn't really matter whichever, whichever one you prefer. And we'll just give that a good punch. I'm kind of putting it in there and backing off a little. All right. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pop this up. How many dimensionals do you think I go, I go through? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I do order them in fifties. Okay. I'm going to pop this up, but I'm going to take a little, um, this is kind of a, I'm just changing the game as we play here. I'm going to take and put a half inch piece in here and add this little layer. Okay. And if I flip this over, I can control it a little better. Um, yeah, I go through a lot of dimensionals. <laughs> what would I do if they back ordered? Oh, I wouldn't ever let it get to that point. Um, I giggle whenever I get too low. <laughs> I don't want to say I freak out, but let's just say it doesn't really ever come up. <laughs> There's always plenty of dimensionals here at the Creativity Cave. Okay, so I print punched this. Um, just, just to add a little extra something, something to this and we'll kind of line it up. Gosh, I'm struggling with the lining up of things. Oh, and I moved it again. Seriously. I'm telling you if there's, I'm doing this sort of through my camera, but not. And if my boobs get in the picture, I just, I apologize. I'll just say that right now. There we go. Oh gosh, they're in there a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, that is pretty crooked, but it actually looks all right, so we won't judge it. <laughs> okay, we will adhere that to our card like this. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to embellish this uh, with a few of our lightest colored um, sequins because they're just so dang much fun. And it just adds a little shimmer to things in here. So I'll put two down here and one uh, up here to just kind of even it out. So that was a really simple card. Um, I love it. So cute. Okay, we're going to make one more card and then we're going to play another game of bingo. Um, this next card is... Um, the one I showed you at the beginning and I got to give it up for my girl, Becky. Becky is uh, one of my assistants and she die cut 192 of these for you guys. Uh, bless her heart. She, um, I think really did not like the die by the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I had to laugh about that. So y'all can just give her a little loving because she die cut these for you. Um, and I think the problem is by, I told her they would die cut better if the little dots came out, not of the, of the die cut itself, but of the die, you know, if they get stuck in the die, then they don't cut as well. So I, I told her to give it a light slam. Like if you go like this with your die cut, like, this is not the right kind, 
But if you go like that, that helps everything kind of pop out. And she was doing that and it was not working. So anyway. <laughs> okay. So this um, is really cute. So what we're going to do is build our ice cream cone. So for this, we need our punch. And... Um, We've got the the punch with our two things. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is die cut the ice cream cone pattern of paper. So that is this. And then I'm just going to pop that right up. Uh, somebody's asking what die this is from. That's a good question. It's from the, I want to say it's called Ornate Style. Well, that's the stamp set, um, and then there's dies that coordinate. So this is the stamp set, ornate style, and then the dies that go with it are all of these. So here's that one, and then there's all these as well. So, yep, it's it's a great set of dies. And um, I don't think the dies are being discontinued, but the stamp set is. So, okay, so we've got our cone base, okay, and then um, we're going to take our scraps. And remember, at the beginning, I said, make sure you leave enough, uh, when you're die cutting all those flowers, make sure you leave enough for the ice cream um, top. Okay, so on my sample, I definitely want my magenta. Okay, and then you can kind of decide which colors you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you want to do like a full-on rainbow. You can. If you don't, you don't have to. But these are the colors I'm going to choose. I've got Magenta, Daffodil, Delight, Granny Apple, Green, Bermuda Bay, and Gorgeous Grape. Wow, that was pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to notice I'm putting my punch in like this so I'm not wasting. Okay, and that way I'm keeping as much of that card stock. I'm not losing any of the scraps. And that way, look at how much you can die cut out of this. So much. Okay. Wish you could see what I was talking about. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay. All right. Now the other thing we're going to do is there's a little kind of sprinkle stamp in this set, and we are going to sprinkle stamp. <laughs> All right, so for this, um, what I want to do is take the colors that I chose and grab the coordinating ink pads, and I'm just kind of putting them in order um, for this. And so I'm going to use magenta. Daffodil, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape. And what I'm going to do is stamp the sprinkles um, on here to kind of coordinate. Okay, so I'm going to start towards the um, top, but not all the way. I'm going to go down about an inch, and I'm just going to stamp them like so. Okay. Then I'm done. Well, actually, I need this ink pad a little in a minute. I'm going to switch colors. Now, really important. Clean your stamp. So important. I can't even tell you. Um, they do look like Pac-Man ghosts. That's so true. Uh, they also, if you turn them upside down, they look like little bear heads. And uh, you can also take the ice cream cone and make a party hat. I'm, I'm just putting that out there for y'all. Isn't that just too dang cute? Okay, uh, so next up is Daffodil Delight, and we're gonna stamp our sprinkles for that. Close this up, clean our stamp. Um, or Mickey Mouse ears, yeah, absolutely. You put a little bow on there and you got mini. Oh, so cute. Okay, next up, Bermuda. And lastly, I've got my Pacific Point. Okay. 
Okay. Last but not least. There we go. All right. Now we're going to pop the whole shebang up on our card because that's, I mean, let's be honest, it's going to be so dang cute. It's not even funny. Um, and to do that, I'm going to start with my cone base. And so, where, did, where are my dimensionals? Here we go. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with my cone. And we'll just put a couple down here like this. And then just kind of set that pretty close to the bottom. And then I'm just going to put uh, a cone down on each one. All right, so... centered though <laughs> all right and then the thing about the dimensionals is is they may or may not be fully on you know what I mean so um depending on your spacing so I'm going to put a little adhesive on there as well so there we go there's our next one and we're kind of just doing the scoops all right we'll stick our dimensional down like that oh my gosh I mean seriously this is ridiculous it's just so dang cute can you even stand it okay and there we go all right last one Oh my gosh, is that just not the cutest dang thing ever? Seriously. Okay, so we've got our ice cream cones. Now what we want to do is we're going to put this on our ice, our card. Um, but I want to stamp my sentiment. And we used the happy birthday before. We're going to use that again. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp happy birthday along the side. Kind of centered right on here like so. Okay. So cute. All righty. Next up, we'll pop this baby up. It's just a happy card. I think tonight the theme of the night is happy cards. Um, but we're actually going to have some kind of gender neutral cards coming up here in a minute, which I thought you guys might appreciate. So... All right, we'll stick that on there. And of course, no card is complete without a little embellishing. So I'm going to put some sequins on here. I've got uh, one of my bright pink ones. Uh, I'm going to take a little aqua one and stick that. Oh, I could put it right there. And then um, another sequin kind of over here. And I could even put a couple on here like so. All right. So there we go. Oh, my gosh. So stinking ridiculous cute. Oh, I love it. Okay. So there's that one. All right. I think we just made, did we just make two cards? No, we made, oh, yeah, we made two cards. Uh, we're going to make one more. Okay. Okay. Now, this next card is pretty awesome, if I can just say. <laughs> um, you just got to know. All right. It's, we're going to do kind of a fun technique with it as well. So we're going to need some DSP for this out of our black DSP. And I'm going to pull. You can do whichever pattern you want, but I like this one. All right. So for this, I want to cut a piece that's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Oops, that was a score. We don't need to score it. Okay. We'll take this piece and add, ooh. Maybe I, 
Oh, it's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Oh my gosh, I even had it written down. I still cut it wrong. Seriously. Sometimes I wonder. Uh, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Now it's actually gonna fit on the card like it should. Okay, here we go. That's a little more like it. Okay, so we'll adhere these two layers together. Sorry. I'm getting down to the end of my seal. Okay, so that's good. We're going to set this aside for a moment. I've got a red card base, real red. And um, I'm going to actually just go ahead and stick this on here. Now, we're going to take um, these last two cards we're going to use. So we're going to set that aside for right now. Um, you've got a piece of white. This is going to go on the inside of our card. Um, so we're going to keep that handy. And then we're going to use that scrap of white. Do you remember that from the beginning? We'll take that and we're going to ink up the uh, caption bubble. So again, this is from the You Are Amazing stamp set. This is uh, in the occasions, or I'm sorry, the January to J June catalog. So what we're going to do with this is um, ink this up in some, oops, not Poppy Parade, sorry, Real Red, because we're using Real Red cardstock. All right. So ink this up with some Real Red ink. Get it good, do a good job of inking it, making sure there's nothing weird happening like that was. I, I fixed it though, it's all good. Okay, and then what I want to do is take the little star image from this stamp set, and this is clean, okay? And we're gonna put that down, and we're going to, um, we just removed some ink, all right? So I took the dry, clean stamp and stamped it on here. I'm gonna clean this off and then I'm gonna kind of wipe it to dry it, the image a little bit. And then I'm gonna do it again. This is called the kissing technique. And what it does is it pulls off um, the ink in the design of the stars. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna repeat this all over the whole thing. Okay, now I think I saw someone say, bummer, you don't have the stamp set. Well, guess what? You can totally get it in my online store. That'd be awesome. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? We are going to stamp this down. All right. And there we go. Look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh. Now... That was on our scrap paper. Now we also have this layer of white. This is gonna fit inside our card. And I'm gonna take my stamp and huff on it. You've seen this before, right? Okay. And then what's left is definitely lighter, but we can still get kind of a second inking of that. Okay? All right. Um, now, what I want to do is take the first inking. This, again, that's for the inside of our card. Um, I'm going to take that, and actually, I need to put this ink pad away. Shush. Uh, and I want to use one of the stamps that comes in this set, okay? So this one um, is an actually, ooh. Ooh, good, good, good. Okay. So I want to take this image and I want to stamp part of it. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to use a little post-it note. Okay, so um, I want to stamp hip, hip, hooray on here. And I'm going to use, you guessed it, my black stays on because I want it to really show up nice and crisp. 
Okay, so I'm inking this up with the post-it note. Now this is just so important. You remove the post-it note and then you stamp it right in the middle, like so. Oh, how cool is that? Oh my gosh, love it. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna pick this one up and then I'm gonna take this and remember the best way to clean is with a scrubby. So this is kind of an old one, but um, <laughs> this is a scrubby from about probably 18 years ago. Use my little Stampin' Mist, <laughs> that's also kind of old, to clean my stamp off. I wanna make sure it's really good and clean before I go on to the next step. Now my scrubby is a little dirty, I'm not gonna lie, so I'm gonna clean it on my chamois just to make sure we're all good and it's good. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same technique. I'm gonna reuse my post-it, but this time I'm gonna cover up the top half of my stamp and ink the bottom. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to ink this up really well with our stays on. Remove the post-it. Can't stress the importance of that enough. And then we'll stamp this on like so. Okay? So how cool was that? Now, another thing you could really do with this is do a little stamp surgery and just cut the, that image kind of in half. But this is an alternative uh, for not cutting your stamp. I know some people don't like to do that. Okay. Now, we're going to cut this out real quick and this is pretty easy to do I'm just gonna leave a little white border around the whole thing and I love this because this is definitely a gender neutral card um, you could do it in pretty much any color uh, so if you wanted to do this for a, a um, male card, uh, I would recommend Real Red, Garden Green, Old Olive, um, Pacific Point, uh, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler. Uh, I think those are the main colors I would use. Did I say Old Olive? Pumpkin Pie? Yeah. Crushed Curry would also work. Um, and then if you wanted it to be more feminine, you could just do, um, you know, pinks or aquas and, and any of those colors would look a little more girly. And of course, you could embellish with things. So, okay. So, uh, we're going to pop this up on the card. I mean, like, why would we do anything else? <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. And then three cheers for you goes on the inside. And that's all there is to this card. So really pretty fun. Okay. So we'll stick that in there like so. Love it. Okay. Um, I'd say it's time for bingo, girls. Whew, we're running long, but that's because we're making so many cool cards. It's amazing. All right, so... This is our, is this our final game of bingo? Oh no, we got to play two bang, two, get ba blah, 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 two games of bingo. Here we go. 30, 29, 18, 28. Ooh, got to clear some room. Here, I'll let you catch up. I gotta take a sip of bingo, or a sip of bingo, a sip of Diet Coke. Four. Okay. Ooh, Tina's already got B-I-N. My goodness. It's very exciting. All right. 15 is our next number. I know I'm covering all this. Sorry, I got to get my pieces out of the way. Clean up my space. I've left a mess. 
All right. Donna's got B-I-N. Oh my gosh, here we go. 12. Ooh, I see a bunch of B-I-Ns coming through. 20. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's going to be exciting. Things are happening. It's good. Eight would be great. Nancy's got B-I-N. Alyssa's got B-I-N-G. Melissa's got B-I-N-G. Oh my gosh, the tension is mounting. <sighs> okay. Who's ready to play bamboozled? <laughs> All right, our next number. Are you ready? It is 11. 11. I don't know. I guess I'm singing the numbers. Ugh. I don't ever want to listen to this again because I don't want to hear my sing my singing voice it's just wow Sally's got b-i-n-g oh my gosh and are you ready baby shark do 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 number 10 do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark you are welcome ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da Sorry, I can't even help myself. Um, uh, we were talking about this, Becky and I were, the other day, you know, when she was die cutting those labels. And um, she was giggling because, you know, that song gets stuck in your head and then you can't let it go. And I said, you know, it's also like the song, ba -da -ma -da, do 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 ba -da -ma -da, do 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 Manamana do 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 you're welcome. Number one. Also, I can't believe how much I've sung online without any alcoholic intervention. <laughs> it would take a couple of drinks for me to sing this much normally. <laughs> um, what is that tune from? I think it's from the Muppets, isn't it? I believe so. I have a nice voice. Well, you guys are so sweet. I, I, oh, I, whenever I hear my voice, I'm just like, oh my gosh, do I really talk like that? It's true, I do. All right, Sesame Street. Yeah, I, well, it's and it's a Muppet. <sighs> okay, ready? Here comes the next number. Are you ready? Number five. I sang it again. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. What is happening? <sighs> Where are my tiny hands? <laughs> I can't find them. Oh, don't worry. Here they are. I wouldn't want to miss anybody um, who's getting bingo, but I do want to get my ton of hands out. Hey! I just love playing bingo with you guys. You're the best. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Are you ready for another number? Okay, let's see. Let's, maybe I can pick one out of the bingo. The bingo can. Oh, I got one. Number 13. Look at that. All with tiny hands. How about that? I'm giggling. I know. And no, my Diet Coke is not spiked, but thanks for asking. I am this hilarious stone cold sober. Oh my goodness. I see B I N G's, all kinds of them. Okay, are you ready? Let the tiny hands pick them. Okay, here we go. It's, it's not easy. So we're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing. And we're picking. Number two. Uh-oh, 
uh oh, uh oh, things are happening. What do we have here? I see. Hold on, let me scroll back to verify. I'm taking my glasses off so I can see. I see a bingo. I see a couple of bingos. Okay, so let's look. Um, Angela. Angela Goodman is my first bingo winner. Let's check her numbers. All right. Ooh. Um, where are my bingo numbers? <laughs> oh, they're right here next to me. All handy. All right, Miss Angela, let's take a look. Okay, Angela had two, five, ten, twenty, and thirteen. She is good. All right, Angela. Um, would you like the hundred dollar shopping spree or would you like the in colors? You let me know. A hundred dollar shopping spree. She's already got it. All right, Angela. Good for you. And then looks like we've got some consolation winners. Okay, so let's take a look. Congratulations. Um, all right. So we've got Angela. Then who else was there? Oh my gosh, y'all commented that Angela got it. I'm scrolling back. There was somebody right by her. Bev, Bev Kundla, just making sure I'm spelling it correct. We'll check her. Anybody else? There's Angela saying it again. So that was another one. Um, Angela, 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 and Bev, Angela and Bev. Someone said four bingos, but I'm only seeing two. Tell me if I'm missing anything. Um, Bev, Bev, Bev. Okay, Nancy Korb. I didn't see that on there anywhere. Um, uh, I don't see Nancy Korb having bingo. Is that why you commented that? I think that was Joyce that said that. Sorry, I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. We want to make sure everybody gets the prize. Um, and Bev, do you have, would you like, Bev, um, an autographed Pretty Perennials stamp set? I'll pull the set out so you can see what it is in a second here. I'm just making sure. Do, do, do. You already have it? Okay. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Um, but Bev, you are a consolation prize winner, so I will send you a consolation prize. Actually, I got to check your numbers real quick, but you should be good. K, 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 K. Two. Oh, Bev, I don't see two on here, my dear. Or no, is that? <laughs> there it is. Sorry. Kidding, it's you're good. 2, 10, 10, 15, 15, 28, and 29. 28, 29. Okay, you're good, Bev. All right. Okay, next up, um, we're gonna do the drawing for mystery stamping. Okay, so uh, I wrote out tickets. <laughs> wrote out tickets for all the people who participated in mystery stamping. So first of all, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do um, look at all those samples in the Facebook group because there's amazing cards in there. And don't forget to tell them how awesome they are. So uh, I'm going to quick rip these tickets apart. And look, <laughs> I wrote it bad, so I crossed it off and wrote it again. <laughs> Do you see your name as I'm <laughs> flying by? Okay, so if you are a winner of mystery stamping, you can choose 
between the $100 shopping spree and the new in color ink pads. All right, so we've got Mary. Well, actually, I'm not gonna read the names because it'll take forever. Okay. All right. And if you um, haven't ever done mystery stamping with us, it is so much fun. Ugh. You just create a card based on the clues that I post. Yeah, I didn't count how many participants there were. All right, but here we go. Do, do, do. The winner is, are you ready? I've got a name. Are you ready? Ooh, I love it. Do you like how I'm making it nice and suspenseful by not flipping it over? You're welcome. <laughs> okay, the winner is Dolores Rammel. She is a double winner tonight. Holy buckets, Miss Dolores. Um, I'm guessing you want the $100 shopping spree, don't you? You let me know, Miss Dolores. How crazy is that? All righty. Dolores, you should maybe go out and buy a lottery ticket tonight. I think that might not be a bad idea. It's not late, too late where you are. Okay. It is your lucky night. So, um,. There you go. All right. We are playing for ink pads. We're going to do one more round of bingo, and then I'm going to finish my last card. It's a quickie, so don't worry. The last card is quick. My favorite kind. Um, but it's really cute, too. So, all right. Are you ready for bingo? Here we go. We're going gonna, gonna to come out quick. 20, 12, 13... 16, six, all right. Here's our first five numbers. All righty. Can you guys believe we had a double winner? What are the odds of that? Wow, pretty cool. Good for you, Dolores. All right, guys, here comes our next number. 22. I think that's the first time we've had 22 tonight. I'm mixing the numbers up every time, Linda. Listen, Linda, honey, of course I'm mixing them up. Ooh, Christy's got B-I-N-G. Way to go, Christy. Very exciting. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Twenty-three. Um, somebody asked if I added Bev's name to my list. Of course I did. Of course I did, you guys. I'm good like that. All right. Ooh, Susan's got B-I-N. Susan, I haven't seen you for a while. Girl, how are you doing? Okay. Here we go. Next number, 19. Take your pick tool like the best thing there is. Ooh, Sherry's got B-I-N-G. So exciting. Okay, here we go. Next number. Here it comes. 11. I'm mixing. Do you guys hear the mixing? Do you hear the mixing that's happening? There is mixing every time. Y'all think I don't mix the numbers. I do. I do. All right. Number one. <laughs> Linda needs another sucker. <laughs> oh, Linda, you crack me up, girl. Okay. 
Are you ready? Number 17. I gotta believe we're getting close. I can feel it in my bones. All right, here we come. Oh, Tammy, you've got the, the Muppet song in your head? Oh, I know, so bad. Do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da. do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da. do, 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 24. Do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da. do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -da. do, 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 do. Ba -ba -da. Do, 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 Sorry. I hope this is entertaining you, if nothing else, right? Um, okay. Next, number 26. <laughs> Stop it. Oops, sorry. <gasps> Sherry Pyre has a bingo. So awesome. Okay. Just checking. See if anybody else has it. Alrighty. Just scrolling through. <laughs> Nina needs a drink. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Miss Sherry, congratulations to you. Now, I know Sherry's on my team, and I'm about 100% sure that she's probably got the ink pads. So, uh, Sherry, we can talk about that later, but let's verify your numbers. I bet you anything she pre-ordered them. Uh, okay. Oops. I was looking in the C's for Sherry instead of the P's for Pyre. Silly me. She had 6, 12, 19, 20, and 26. She's good. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations, Miss Sherry. Um, so, uh, Sherry, I will email you tomorrow. And uh, if you don't want the ink pads, um, I can tell you what other options I have for you. Okay. Because I just know you've got those ink pads. Oh, you are welcome. All right, ladies, let's make our last card. And like I said, I left the last card as a quick card because I knew we'd be tired at this point in the game. Uh, where did the lid go to my, my thingy? Okay. All right, so, um, okay, so we've got two pieces of cardstock. We've got a smaller piece and a larger piece. Now, the smaller piece is for the outside of the card, and the larger piece is for the inside of the card. So you want to make sure you're picking the correct piece. So this is for the um, inside. The big one's the inside. Okay, I'm just looking for my scrap paper. Here we go. All right. So here we go. Now, we used that really cool word uh, bubble, I guess. And what we're going to do is clean that <laughs> first. And sometimes I get ink on the edge of my rubber like that. So... You might want to clean that because we're going to use a nice light colors of ink on this next one or lighter colors. This is another one that is definitely kind of a gender neutral card. So you could use it for a lot of different occasions. I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. And the other thing that is really fun with this is you could switch up the colors a little bit and make it more girly. Um, and so you could do like... Uh, magenta madness or gorgeous grape or highland heather in in place of one of these colors and that would make it more girly okay so let's go now um, I also want to mention because I didn't say this earlier for those of you who won shopping sprees um, if you go over your shopping spree allotted amount, you certainly can and just pay the difference. Um, so for the those of you who got the $100, 
if you want to um, if you want to add on to your order so that you hit 150 and want your Stampin' Rewards, that's fine too. You get Stampin' Rewards. So just um, keep that in mind as you're doing your little shopping. Okay. Next up, we're going to do Granny Apple Green. We're overlapping just a little bit here. Okay. And then I'm going to pull that off. Oh, did I show you the inspiration um, for the mystery card? No, I didn't. Thank you for asking. This is it. Um, this was my mystery card. This is a card I received in a swap from my good friend Kayleen Murray. She is actually a sideline of mine. She is, um, she's been a demonstrator for a very long time. So pretty cool. Isn't that cool? So this is my card. I've got my little thank you. I've got, this is the Boho Indigo product medley. That's the DSP. So very fun. Yep. There you go. Okay. Um, so back to our card. <laughs> I told you it was quick. I wasn't kidding. I would never lie about the quickness of a card. Um, next, we're going to stamp uh, Bermuda Bay, again, overlapping a little on either side, and that looks really cute. Okay, now I'm going to uh, get rid of this stamp. And then my folded card. Now, on here, uh, I actually am going to do the inside of my card quick first. Okay, so sorry, I... I'm jumping all over the place, but that's all right. Um, remember that star stamp? I'm going to take and stamp the star stamp a couple times going down the side um, of the inside of my card. Okay, so I did it first in daffodil. Then I'm doing it in granny apple. And lastly, I'm doing it in Bermuda Bay. Okay, so that's just fun and cute. Then I'm going to come back to my card and I'm going to stamp this in granny apple green all the way around. I'm going to quick close these, close these up so I don't accidentally stamp the wrong color because you know that could just so easily happen. And I know I make some of y'all nervous when I stamp with my ink pads all open. Okay, so I'm just going around the edge of my card to stamp this. And I think it's a good idea to kind of move the stamp around so that it's not, you know, just exactly the same. So I'm, I'm kind of putting it at different angles when I come in to stamp like that and so forth. So that I've got a nice little frame in my background. Okay, then uh, I've given this a second to dry both of these, to be honest. So I'm going to pull out some more sentiments for my stamp set. Um, and you guessed it, it's a, it's a stays on night. Uh, I'm going to stamp congrats for the inside. Okay, so that's going to go right there. Perfect. And then right here, I'm going to stamp you are amazing right in the center and oh my gosh closing the ink pad there we go love it so cute okay all right okay now to finish this delightful little creation up we're going to take a couple of our matte black dots so I'm going to have to find mine. They are somewhere on this. Oh, here they are. Right under my ink pad. Uh, and I'm going to put just a couple little dots on here for embellishment purposes. So I'll put a big one and a small one. Okay. We're going to pop this layer up on top of our card. And then we're going to throw the congrats on the inside. And that's it. So easy. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Like how just ridiculously cute and simple is this? And again, you switch up the colors and you've got like a kind of a girly card. You, I could see you doing this like for a team. 
you know, for like a baseball or football or soccer team and just adding um, the team colors or school colors for graduation, whatever you want. I mean, so much fun. So cute. Okay, so let me show you all the cards we made tonight. A lot of cards this time. So we've got that card. Hip, hip, hooray. Three cheers for you. Happy birthday with the DSP. So fun. Show off that DSP. Um, a rainbow ice cream cone, which makes me want some ice cream right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, and a uh, watercolor popsicle card. Not going to lie. I want one of those too. A gorgeous gold ring <laughs> card. So pretty. Um, a fun little congrats. You're so fancy now. I love that sentiment. And finally, the happy birthday. So let me know which one is your favorite. Oh, so many to pick from. Let me try and lay them all out so you can see them. Um, I just love them. Now, don't forget, if you would like to purchase any of the items that I used on my cards tonight, I'd be so grateful for your business. Um, it helps me continue to bring awesome videos uh, for you every month. Uh, we will have game night next month. Um on approximately the 12th it's the second or no 11th I think it is it's the second Tuesday of the month um so we'll slip that in right before um right before I head out to Hawaii but gold ring is your favorite the first card is your favorite I know I love all of them so much they're really pretty so thank you guys for being a part of tonight I hope you loved it um, if you could give me a thumbs up that would really be great if you also want to subscribe to my channel there should be a little box right there to click on and you won't miss any more of my do 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 shenanigans <laughs> um Thank you again so much for being here with me to, here with me tonight. I hope you had a great time and I will see you all soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.